My name is Daniela Hoogner, I'm a visual artist and I'm uh, currently participating in a residency of the Hamburger Community of Art. So I grew up somewhere near Rotterdam uh, and I collected animals instead of dolls and I wanted to be a farmer. I think I did become a farmer in a way. Uh, I still collect a lot of animals. My work is very fairy tale like uh, I guess in a way. I don't know if that's because of the animals or because of the setting I put them in. And I'm fascinated by the role that animals have in the fairy tales. And in my work, I aim on making them the main characters in my own fairy tales. So I create a new story. I've tried to find a balance between uh, people and nature since uh, we drifted so far from that. For me, it's very easy to connect to animals because they are, they're in intuitive and I'm intuitive. I love to surround myself with animals rather than people, I guess. And then I moved to the city and I wasn't able to have animals because I had a little balcony. I waited a while and now I got this little garden and I decided to have one chicken. That one chicken was Angela. She came with a brother, but he was too loud for the neighborhood, so he had to move. He's still alive. So I also have two rabbits, Jut and Jul. Uh, one of them is very mean, and this happens in the animal world as well. So she can stay and uh, we'll try to treat her aggression, her anger issues. I've got them too. And then after Angela, I, um, I had Magnet, and Magnet is a big black horse. Horses are very intriguing, and they have these big eyes, and if you look into them, it's like you can read their soul. <laughs> That's so corny. <laughs> I also really like all the materials and all the, the stuff you can buy for your horse and everything is glittery and shiny and I also bring that back in my paintings a lot. It translates so well in paint and I just can't stop painting uh, things that have to do with, with horses and the sport. So the horse-related aesthetics are very attractive to me and I, I wanted to create these riders slash huntmen. I think by making them, you kind of, the face forms and then they, they become a, a person. And uh, well, they become very grumpy or very, and the guy with the moustache, for example, is very typical. I don't know why, but he just kind of uh, formed in my hands. So I create this world in which everything can happen and coexist and all these characters live together and I, I decide what's going to happen and I think at first a lot of people think my work is very colorful and bright and girly and then I have a second look and they're like whoa it's pretty dark uh, and I think that that second layer of darkness is very interesting. Through the workshops that I host here, I do these events with the Hamburger Community of Life. People can participate in a, in a part of your practice and they can maybe uh, do ceramics for once or, or make a quilt and uh, learn something about a new skill or a new material. Every fairy tale starts with once upon a time and everything can happen afterwards. So I thought that would be a nice title. My work is a reflection of the, the stuff I see around me in my daily life and the, the things that I collect. I'm like a magpie, so the shinier it is, the more beautiful it is to me. So my way of working is very impulsive and chaotic. So is my studio. Uh, it's usually a big mess, but uh, within this mess, I always find a way to create something new. And well, I just play with whatever is in the studio that day. and. Uh, sometimes that's paint and sometimes that's clay. That's how things uh, start to exist. I'm doing a collaboration with Tommy Ventevel, who is writing a, a fairy tale at the moment for this project. And I made a giant mural that, that goes with the, the fairy tale. So sometimes I, I forget to breathe, to eat, and I just focus on the painting and that, that can take hours and hours. In my daily life, I'm very easily distracted, but when I paint, uh, I'm, I'm completely focused. It makes me feel like Snow White, surrounded by animals, creating things, living in this studio, uh, among the animals, and I'm living my own fairy tale. <laughs>